Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe for more NBA content like this. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before August, so all support would be greatly appreciated. Be sure to leave a like as well if you enjoy, it really does go a long way. The 2020 NBA season has been a unique season, to say the least. As we all know, due to everything that is happening in the world right now, the NBA season was suspended. And now, finally, after three long months, it is confirmed to return by the end of July, which is great news for us NBA fans. Many new debates have sprung out now due to the way the rest of the season will be run in that bubble environment in Disneyland Orlando. One of those debates is that the champions of this season will have an asterisk next to their name due to the unique circumstances of this season, and many believe that due to it, in comparison to other championship runs of recent years, this year's one will not be seen as valuable or great. In my opinion though, I completely disagree with that, and I personally believe that the asterisk should be seen as a good thing, and it's why I believe the 2020 NBA champions, whoever they may be, will have one of the greatest title runs of all time. In today's video, I will be explaining my reasons behind why I think that the 2020 NBA championship should be seen as one of the best ever, and why it shouldn't be disregarded due to the different environment it is in. Again, if you're new here and enjoy the video, please be sure to subscribe to help me hit 10k. But with that all being said, let's get right into this. Lucas. The first reason why I believe this season's championship will go down in history is because of the large break that was taken. The NBA has been suspended for about three or four months now, which is insane as that's the equivalent of an NBA offseason. This will obviously have a large impact on NBA teams coming back, as all the built up momentum from the season won't matter anymore, and they'll have to refine the chemistry with their team, get back in the groove of things, etc. As the majority of players will probably be quite rusty, at least to start off. Due to this break, things become a lot tougher for NBA teams. Refining that chemistry they had in February and March may take some time making it harder for all teams to play high quality basketball. Overall, having this off season in the middle of a season basically just makes things tougher for every team coming back to the bubble NBA restart. So whoever wins it can pride themselves on how they came back. This is an unordinary situation and to be able to come off a mini off season then go straight to the playoffs and win it all is something to be very proud about which is why I think the 2020 NBA champions should be recognized as an all-time great team, in their own way at least. Another reason why I think the champions of this season shouldn't be looked upon as a worst champion is due to the fact that at Disneyland, there will be no home court advantage. In any other NBA season, teams that were the best during the regular season are rewarded with home court advantage over the other team in a seven game series, which for a team like Philadelphia this season is crucial to their success. However, in this bubble environment, that's taken away from literally every team. The arenas these teams will be playing in will be similar to a place like Anti Up from 2K, which is so weird to think about. You may be thinking that this makes the champion worth less than a regular champion from a normal season in the past, as the top teams who work so hard for a home court advantage no longer get one, and that could be considered unfair. And whilst it is unfortunate, if one of these top NBA teams goes on to win the championship, shouldn't that mean they should be considered as one of the best champs ever? Because unlike any other NBA champion in the past, except for the Houston Rockets back in 1995, no team has ever won the championship without having home court advantage for at least one round, and a thing that differentiates this year's potential champs from the Rockets back in 95 is that they won't have home court advantage for a single game. I know it goes for all teams, but my point still remains. Playing at a place you've never played at before with no fans to cheer you on and boost your morale can be an incredibly hard place to win at. 
and it's why I believe this year's premieres shouldn't be looked down upon at all, and really should be looked at as one of the greatest championship teams ever. The third and final reason why I believe this championship matters so much is because it's arguably the toughest one in history for a team to win. Due to the crazy climate the season is now in, it's just made things so much harder for teams to prepare and be ready to compete for a title. At any moment, one of their players could go down with the virus, meaning they'd be out for a minimum 7 days, and if that happens at a critical time during the season, it could be costly. Due to that, and the other two things I mentioned earlier in the video, the team that perseveres and makes it out on top shouldn't have an asterisk next to their name for a bad reason. After all they've been through, with all the changes made to the season just as it hits its peak in the playoffs, the NBA champions of 2020, whoever they may be, should receive a lot of love and shouldn't be discredited for their effort. Whilst the way they win it will be a bit different to other years, it doesn't mean it should be looked as less great or worthy compared to other titles in the past. Winning a championship is already hard enough as it is, and with this new added toughness to it, due to the events in the world currently, it makes me strongly believe that the 2020 champions should be recognized as an all-time great team in their own way. And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? What are your thoughts on the 2020 NBA season and how it will be concluded? Will the NBA champions have an asterisk next to their name and should it be viewed as a good thing or a bad thing? Let me know all your thoughts on this down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.